continues right now for 12 people near Port Fouchon. A commercial boat capsized yesterday afternoon and the Coast Guard says crews recovered one body. WDSU's Morgan Lintzich joins us live this afternoon. Morgan, the Coast Guard just gave an update on this search. How many people did they rescue so far? Yeah, Christina, that's the good news. So far, six people have been rescu rescued. Unfortunately, the search began this morning for 13 missing people. And as you just mentioned, we've now learned that one body has been recovered since. That person's body was found floating on the surface, we're told, meaning the search continues now for just 12 others. In total, 19 people were on board the 129-foot lift boat when it capsized in yesterday's severe weather. That was around 4.30 p.m. off Port Fouchon. As for today, the search continues with other vessels, even a helicopter. And here's some of what Captain Will Watson said when asked about his expectations for that mission. Um, whenever uh, we engage, the Coast Guard engages in a search and rescue effort, we are hopeful. Um, you can't do this work if you're not optimistic, if you're not hopeful about when you do it. Um, so I will tell you that we remain hopeful. We're one day uh, approximately into this operation. WDSU also spoke with a man who was out on a boat in those same severe weather conditions yesterday. You'll hear his account. It's striking. That's coming up later on this afternoon on WDSU. But for now, reporting live in Port Fouchon, I'm Morgan Lentis. Back to you. Morgan, thank you. And Seacor Marine just released a statement saying, quote, we are deeply saddened by the news of the vessel capsizing and are working closely with the U.S. Coast Guard and Good Samaritan vessels for their immediate response, as well as the brave individuals who have further supported our search and rescue efforts. They go on to say our hearts and prayers go out to everyone involved. A similar message here coming from Governor John Bell Edwards. He is asking you to join him and his wife, First Lady Donna Edwards, to quote, Pray for those who remain missing after yesterday's capsizing off the coast of Grand Isle and for those who are working to rescue them. We, of course, are following the story closely and we will update you with any new information as soon as it becomes available.